Hey, it's Uncle Josh, and we're back on Uncle Josh Gaming. We're about to get back into some more Wasteland 3. We're back in. We've got Lucia Wesson and Marshall Kwan as companions. We agreed to take Lucia with us. Her family is uh, one of the hundred families, and they've been taken hostage by the Dorseys in the Garden of the Gods. We also helped out Taiwan Jones. We disarmed the landmine. Now she's back open for business. We found a museum, but it seems to be closed. We found two other vendors. Snappin' Jimmy Bob and Mary Milk Teeth. So we're gonna speak with Taiwan Jones. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium! We have every fin you need, just for the asking and, well, the paying. You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorseys all around the city waiting to jump innocents such as yourself. Be sure to stock up with me, yeah? Tell us about yourself. Ah. You want to hear about the wide open seas, my trusty vessel, the wild waves crashing the shores? Well, sorry chums, I'm just here to sell stuff. What would you like? What's with the ocean puns? I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. So do you sell fish? No, nope. no, wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs, me? I've never even seen a fish in my life. Wondrous creatures, I hear. Can we see your wares? Sardine lead. <laughs> so she's got some some things here. Some weapons. Some ammo. We don't have any junk, so. We'll come back to her later. What these marshals and Dorsey's got on him. He glances up from looting the corpses. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill him, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Uh oh. Waiting orders.
don't know if I can take the shot, but I'll try. Oh, Major Tomcat took a hit. Marshal Quan will send him up. Paid off. Let's see if we can take a shot with uh, Lucia Wesson. That worked. The whole defend. Flank in the target. Taking the shot. Juan got hit. Tomcat's going in. Oh. I'm a fucking ninja. <laughs> you're gonna be a dead one pretty soon. I glow, but you're all dead. There we go. Levels up yet. It's a bit of skeet hunter, scout armor, shotgun shells, Colorado dollars, thirty five Colorado dollars, Dorsey gut ripper, medic pack, injury kit, burn book, and some scrap. So that worked. There's a spot over here. Melted capacitor, flamethrower, fuel, rocket, aramid pads, scrap, and an LED matrix. Check the dumpster. A gutter snake. Some 762. Used cat litter and sack of cat bones. Sans Lux. Sounds fancy. On. I'm gonna use that hypo. We see a Wesson should be okay. So we got a locked door here. We're gonna pick it. see a Wesson some scout armor. Okay. So we can add some mods. Ice, we're going to modify her armor. Nothing. Exo knee. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Eleven times three. Gutter snake is an eight to eleven times three. Whiteout shotgun. 
Skeet Hunter. So we'll let her have that. We're gonna field strip one of the bunker busters. Field strip the Dorsey Gut Ripper. There, now we got some scrap. And we're gonna modify this weapon. Let's give an alloy barrel magazine. Cut rifle barrel. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. Looks like we're good. We should be able to proceed now. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? The display is inactive. The can of baked beans from the bunker where the Patriarch's family waited out the deluge of fire. Canned food like this was all they had to eat, unlike today. Patriarch has provided us with fresh greenhouse grown vegetables. Cybernetic limbs. Artificial limbs and augmentations taken from the bodies of defeated scar collectors after the legendary Battle of Pumpkin Center, where the Patriarch defeated the savage warlords of the Eastern Plains once and for all. Yeah, this whole place is a gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details? Huh, the display is an act. My uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, that's why I'm on the payroll. Somebody's got to get their hands dirty. So good folk like you can keep your hearts clean. That's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. That's how you work. Huh. I'm sure you know best. A Patriot's weapon. A replica of the rifle Sheriff Daisy used when she fought at the Patriarch's side during the war against the Plains Gangs. For her bravery, bravery and heroism and tactical brilliance, he appointed her Sheriff of Colorado Springs. Traitor's weapon. The sword of Nelius Dorsey, who led his clan in an attempted coup against the Patriarch. Nelius and the Dorseys were defeated after a treacherous attempt on the Patriarch's life. Now they are no more. Monster uniform. Uniform of a soldier in the Monster Army. The gang that terrorized Colorado Springs until the Patriarch defeated them and won their fealty. The bullet holes and blood show the fierceness of the fighting. More animatrons. Oh. A generator, but we can't do anything. Requires level 3. Yeah, we 
can't open this door. It must be tied to the generator. Old Baldy. A mechanical eagle in a red, white, and blue top hat slumps on a rustic perch. Why, hello there! My name's Old Baldy, and this here is the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. Or, as I like to call it, home. Me and my friends here are dedicated to telling the story of Old Saul Buchanan and the refounding of the great state of Colorado, which is just the first step in Saul's plan to bring back the good old United States of America. Now, just uh, stroll from stage to stage, and we'll tell you the story along the way. It's as simple as that. Any questions before you go? Tell us Buchanan's story. Well, I don't want to spoil the show, but it begins with Saul's humble start in this very town. And it follows the trials and tribulations he faced uniting the hundred families, defeating the monster army, and bringing peace and security to Colorado. And in case you were worried, it's suitable for children of all ages. Oh, that's good. My channel will like that. Ooh, I don't have an animal whisper. Did Buchanan make this museum himself? Saul Buchanan is far too modest for such egotistical shenanigans. No, sir. It was the hundred families who built this place. As a gracious thank you to the Patriarch for all he's done for them. Are you the American Eagle? Look just like my picture, don't I? Now, ah, wait a minute. Let me give you my good side. There you go. I gotta admit, though, I'm looking better than I was. <laughs> Life's been pretty tough on old Baldy since the world went to pot. Lost a lot of feathers. But now that Patriarch Buchanan's rebuilding America, I'm starting to feel like my old self again. That's all we want to know. Thanks. Great. Then on with the show. Youngest son of the Buchanan clan, brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby Saul grew straight like a tree, but swing a sledgehammer before he was three. Learned to read and write before he could walk. Finished all his schooling before he could talk. Showed all his teachers a thing or two when he taught him that a fact didn't have to be true. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man! The strongest of men! You can say that again. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Let's see if this'll work now. Oh. The hundred families came to see you spring And all fell to fighting over frivolous things Till Saul raised their heads to the circling wings Of the vultures who were waiting to die like kings He said that the only way to save the land Was to bury the hatchet and all shake hands So they signed the treaty in a single day And begged him to lead them and show them the way Is Buchanan a man? What a man, the truest of men, you could say that again. With the families behind him, Saul went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap the inhaler. 
and a fair flab and made him a deal. If your boys work for me, they'll never miss a meal. Flab signed up on the dotted line. Now his monsters keep us safe in the evening time. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You could say that again. They had a better idea. Believe they could rule by murder and fear. Tried to steal Colorado from our patriarch, but old Saul proved his bite was worse than his part. Drove at the Dorseys and gave their land to the poor and the needy and the Indians. So mercy for the merciless was his stand. So he hunted the Dorseys to the very last man. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man! over here and see what this one sings. Then came the gangs of the Eastern Plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gains. Oh, saw a song coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, you're all nothing but a pack of thieves. Strong as an ox at three score and ten. He faced down the savages again and again. Then drove them back to the desolate east and secured for Colorado an endless peace. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You could say that again. Okay. That, I, I believe, is everything we can do for now. Oh, there's some trash out here. Sad banana. So we'll have to come back to that spot later. Sing, Casio Watch, Glance Plates, Scrap, and Glowing Ooze. Troy's Diary, Shorted Control Chip, Cutting Blades, Scrap, and an LED matrix. More snowballs. Little Vegas. Modify the armor. We're gonna add the glance plates. So now we're back to the market. I'm glad the merchants are already back to work. No kidding. Dorsey's ransacked my house on the way out of town. All my food is gone. That's rough. Say, I got a stockpile of some squirrel jerky under my bed. I could split it with you. Oh, hell, that'd be beyond the call. I appreciate it. Weird. 
do we want to go? I guess over this way. Come on, you ferris fiend! Turn! Ah, hello there. The name's Theodoric Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions, if you're here to learn about our wall. Who are you? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine, nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day, I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. Tell us about the Colorado Springs Wall. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. Sorry, we have to go. Believe me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. <sighs> Back to the wall. Oh, you want to talk to Mama? She's the one in charge. Basically looking for items. Oh, there's my uh, Kodiak. Arapaho Grease Monkey. This station is nice enough, but convoy life is better. Always something else to fix. You wanna set your tire bead real quick and look impressive doing it? I've got a trick. Mm -hmm. Set the tire on fire. Except don't use gasoline. Yeah, well, she's smart enough to know that. Anyway, just a quick shot of flammable agent, a method for putting out the fire, and you're ready to keep going. Hmm. Is there anything? Oh, there's a toolbox. Right there. Just got a repair kit and some scrap. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost in the plains, he salvaged what he could, turned it into this monster you see before you, all because he couldn't bear to be separated from his machine. That's dedication for you. Also to get out of the plains. We all forgot that part. An Arapaho convoy truck is undergoing repairs. When you carry goods across all of Colorado, you're bound to take some damage. Jimmy Longhall. Even in his old age, this impressive man is... Uh, this man is impressive. Broad-shouldered and thick-necked. He wears his hair in thick white braids. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. What is this place? This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Looks like you also repair people. Eh? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. 
Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Is Parker a good doctor? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Can you tell us about your employees? Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer's our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. So, are all, are you all Arapaho here? You know it, cousin. He winks conspiratorially. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. What can you tell us about the Arapaho? Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Do you hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. What do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. So we got a tool kit. I want to sell some junk. Car's a lot like an old dog sometimes. It won't learn new tricks, but that doesn't mean you can't trick it into doing what you want. You keep saying that. This truck's dead as good manners. Tell you what. How about we do a little wager? I bet I can get that truck up and running before the end of the night. If I win, you stop second guessing me. And if you lose, you'll have to make lunch every day for a week. What can I do for you? Goodbye. You take care now. The car's a lot like an old no dog. Time. A linebacker in a lab coat. This doctor is clearly weary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody hand head of an unconscious young woman. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. Can you stitch us up? Come on, Rangers. Didn't you hear him? There are people literally dying around you, and you want me to ignore them to put a few band-aids on you? Fine. I'll take a look for cash. You got it. Great. Come over here and let's see your great and terrible wounds. There. All patched up. Uh... Can we do anything to help? He gestures toward the injured patients lying nearby. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. N 
none of us have any medical. Oh. You can count on us. Wait a minute. None of us have any medical expertise. I bet your mother sewed up your clothes for you. <laughs> Fine. Just bring the fucking suture kids back here. I'll do it myself. Afraid we can't help. Well, that's gonna go down well. Then don't expect any help from me. Get the fuck out of my surgery. If you're not here to help, leave. I don't have time for idiots. Even less time for those who can't see past their own needs. Come back when you're a better human being. Oh. That wasn't very nice. But I don't have any points. Talk I can't... About like an old dog sometimes. Learn new tricks, but that doesn't mean you can't trick it into doing what you want. You keep saying that, but this truck's dead as good manners. Yeah, Tell I don't you have what. it. How about we do a little wager? I bet I can get that truck up and running before the end of the night. If I win, you stop second guessing. And if you lose, you'll have to make lunch every day for a week. The other way we can go now is north. Marshal Lupinski. Unshaven and slovenly, Marshal Lupinski shifts his unlit half smoked cigar to the corner of his mouth as you approach. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. <laughs> My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. What's behind this gate? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck... those... Dorseys. Any idea how many Dorseys are in there? Nope. Oh, goodbye. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. Okay, so I think we're gonna... Save the game here. And we're gonna end things for today. And then the next one will uh, continue on into the Garden of the Gods.